today let us take up uh, classes and objects of C plus plus and uh, let us do arrays of objects. Okay. Now, let us see how to create arrays of objects. Supposing I have a class here employee right? and this is the class here. Now, in the main function till now we have been making something like this employee emp1 that is one object employee emp2 second object. Supposing I want to store the details of 10 employees. Now, in that case, if I make objects like this employee EMP3, employee EMP4, like this, I have to make objects 10 times so that I have 10 objects wherein I can store the details of the employees. But this becomes a cumbersome process because supposing I say that I want to um, store the details of 50 employees working in a department, then we cannot write 50 lines saying employee EMP 1, EMP 2, EMP 3 till EMP 50 that, that looks very odd. right? So, in these cases we will have to make an array of objects, so that that particular array can hold the detail of 50 employees. Now, we all know supposing I have something like this int a 1 this is one integer and if I write int array 1 and within bracket 10 this means this is an array which can hold 10 integers right whereas this is something which can store only one integer and this int array 10 means it can it is an array like this which can hold 10 integer values. So, I have something like this. So, I will have 10 integer values over here. Same way for objects we are going to do. Now, let us see this. Now, when I write employee m1 this is just one object. So, in the memory we have just one object like this emp1 wherein you are going to store the details of the employee one employee only right. Okay. Now, if I want to create an array I will do something like this employee emp array you can give any name you want I call it as emp array and within bracket I write supposing I take it as 5. So, this is an array and this array is of type employee. Now, employee is the class name, right? This employee is what? This employee is the class name. So, we are making an array of the class type employee and I am giving the size of that particular array as 5. So, here what happens is this will be your array like this. And here it is going to store this is the first object, this is the second object, this is the third object, fourth object, and fifth object, right. So, here the name of the object is EMP array, fine. Now, this is EMP array 0, the array indexing which starts from 0 as with normal arrays, right. So, this will become emp array 1 right now this will become emp array 2 this is 3 this is 4 so here i have got space for storing the details of five employees okay so this is how we will be creating arrays of an object now let's take up one small example to see how actually to do this right Okay, now see, 
let us take the same class employee supposing I have this class employee and inside this I write int emp id float salary and I have this care department something like this then I have public <coughs> I put uh, I take two methods here one is void enter data and here I write C out enter the EMP ID C in EMP ID and here C out enter the department C in department C out enter the salary right so this is what we have in the enter data method now the next one is void display here I just need to display the record so I write here C out I will just put it like this EMP ID and then I will give some space and then I will write the department then some space again and then finally salary and then end it fine after this I close the class here so this is a small class which I have made over here it's an employee which has got three variables three data members EMP ID salary department and two member functions enter data wherein I am accepting the data and display which is displaying the data fine now we come to the main method where we will be making an object of this class fine now let us see this void main ok here the first thing I do is employee emp array and within bracket 10 right so this is an array of employee type which can store the details of 10 employees now we have to enter the details of 10 employees and display them ok now how do we do it we have to use a for loop here for I take int i is equal to 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus because I need to take the information for 10 employees so the loop should be i is equal to 0 i less than 10 fine now here I say c out enter the details for employee number i plus 1 Okay. it will say enter the details for employee number 1 because I have to say i plus 1 because I am starting as i is equal to 0 so if you write uh, i just i here it will be enter the details for employee number 0 which does not make any sense right so here we should write enter the details for employee number i plus 1 so it will say enter the details for employee number 1 2 3 like this it will go on right ok now after that you have to say emp array i dot enter data okay so what will happen is this is emp array i means emp array 0 
emp array 0 dot enter data it will take me to this function enter data here and whatever data is being entered that is this emp id department salary this will go into the first place here this one right this place this is the first record the first record here okay now after that i close the loop i becomes equal to 1 enter the details for employee number i plus 1 means it, it will become 2 so emp array 1 dot enter data again now this subscript has become 1 it goes to this enter data method accepts the data and now it puts it in this place this is the second record like this it goes on till 10 ok now after this I want to display the record so again I take a similar for loop I plus plus and here I say see out displaying in fact this uh, see out statement should not come inside this uh, we will put it outside here see out displaying records of employees will write like this right okay if you put it inside the loop it will uh, come every time so that we do not want fine so here we will write see out sorry here we should write emp array i dot display that is it. Now once the record has been accepted after that it comes to this again i becomes equal to 0 emp array 0 dot display. So emp array 0 dot display means it displays the emp id department and salary of the first record which we have here find this first record because this index is emp array 0 ok now when we go back here to this loop this i plus plus i becomes equal to 1 so emp array 1 dot display so it will display the emp array 1 so whatever details you have inside this particular record that will be displayed so this small program this is storing the details of 10 employees and it is displaying the details of all the 10 employees fine. So, employee is a class and we have these 3 data members inside this emp id salary department ok. So, this way we can make arrays of objects and this is how you make an object array of object here and this is how you access that particular element of that array. So, emp array i dot enter data. So, this means emp array 0 dot enter data, emp array 1 dot enter data, 2 dot enter data like this. Same way here emp array 0 dot display, 1 dot display. So, this way it works. Okay. So, with that I will come to the end of this topic on arrays of objects in the lesson classes and objects.